Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to the White House. Everybody, please have a seat. Uh, in case you didn't know, these are the NBA champion San Antonio Spurs. Uh, I was considering having the vice president cover these remarks so I could stay fresh for State of the Union. <laughs> Taking an example off Pop, who, uh, you know, sits his stars sometimes. Um, but I decided I actually want to meet them. So uh, I know we've got a lot of Spurs fans in the house, uh, no doubt, including a guy I stole from San Antonio, our Secretary of Housing and Urban Development, former mayor, Julian Castro. Hey. Of course, we want to welcome General Manager uh, R.C. Buford and of, and, of course, Coach Popovich. Um, I want uh, the coach to know uh, that he is not uh, contractually obligated to take questions after the first quarter of my remarks. Uh, <laughs> um, now, look, I admit it, I'm a Bulls fan. It's never easy celebrating a non-Bulls team in the White House. That's all I've been able to do. Um, so far. Uh, but even, even I have to admit that the Spurs are hard to dislike. First of all, uh, they're old. And, and for an old guy, uh, it makes me feel good to see, you know, where's Tim? <laughs> you know, Tim's got some gray. Uh, there, there's a few others, you know, uh, with little sprinkles around here. Um, there, there's the, a reason why the uniform is black and silver. Um, so so it, it makes me feel good to see that uh, folks in advancing years can succeed in... Uh, in a young man's sport. Um, but it's also because this is uh, an international team. It's the UN of, of basketball teams. Uh, and uh, it shows the way that this wonderful sport has become an international sport. Um, you know, some people have rightfully started calling it uh, the Spurs style of basketball, the beautiful game. Uh, and when you look at the passing and uh, guys back cutting to the hoop and sharing the basketball, uh, you see basketball the way it should be played. And I was telling these guys, uh, you can now see uh, everybody around the league actually stealing, uh, first of all, assistant coaches who then become coaches and then start applying uh, that style of play all around the league. And uh, it's made the game better. Now, th this has not always been the case, uh, all the accolades that the Spurs received. Uh, let's face it, uh, just a little while back, people were saying that the Spurs were past their prime, not just old, but kind of boring. Um, now they're fresh and exciting, uh, which is basically the exact opposite of what happens to presidents. You know, you <laughs> it's a different trajectory. Uh, Last season was all about redemption for the Spurs. Uh, everybody remembers uh, the heartbreaking loss uh, for the Spurs, not for Miami, uh, two years ago. Uh, and, and game six, obviously, was, uh, was uh, crazy. Uh, not, uh, I'm not going to make you relive all the details. Um, as, as Tony Parker said, uh, it seemed like the basketball gods were just being cruel. But uh, the Spurs came back focused. And Tim, who's not used to, you know, not renowned for his trash talking, uh, was very clear about the fact that uh, they were going to get back to the finals. Uh, they earned the league's best record, including a franchise uh, record 19 in a row, made it back against the finals, and then uh, eviscerated the Heat, uh, winning in five games with an average margin of 14 points, which was the most lopsided margin in finals history. Now, uh, 
that, that may have been a, a high water mark for excellence, but this is an organization uh, that has been marked by excellence, one of the best in professional supports. Uh, since drafting Tim Duncan in 1997, they've won five titles. Uh, Tim has now won rings 15 years apart, uh, only the second player in history to win titles in three different decades. Uh, Tim and Tony and Manu have won <laughs> more playoff games than any trio in NBA history. But, you know, what's been remarkable uh, as you watch this team over the decade is not just the incredible play of the big three, it's also uh, how the organization always seems to be able to pull together uh, those missing pieces uh, and everybody performing uh, at an incredibly high level. Uh, you've got uh, 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 finals MVP, uh, Kawhi Leonard, who... <laughs> who uh, played uh, magnificently. You've got uh, Boris Diaw, uh, one of the best pa uh, passing big men in the game. Uh, Tiago Splitter. Um, Danny Green, Patty Mills, uh, Marco uh, Bellinelli, who we miss uh, on the Bulls. Um, <laughs> you've got uh, Matt Bonner, who my notes tell me uh, is a sandwich blogger named Red Mamba. I mean... <laughs> How, how can you not like a guy like that? Um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and San Antonio has a special bond with its fans. Uh, you, you hear it in the Go Spurs Go chants. Uh, you see it in how the Spurs give back to their community. Uh, Coach Popovich has helped the San Antonio Food Bank raise millions of dollars. Uh, the Spurs honor our troops and our veterans and their families with camouflage uniforms and discounted tickets and Earlier today, they met with some of our wounded warriors from Walter Reed and Fort Belvoir. Uh, and they've been outstanding supporters of San Antonio's east side, uh, an area I designated uh, as a promise zone. They've created literacy programs, bought tablets and computers for schools. Uh, Spurs staffers have served as mentors for young people. So uh, they've been leading in the community. Uh, they've been leading in terms of style of play. Uh, I want to commend the Spurs as well for something they did after the championship, hiring Becky Hammond uh, uh, as the first uh, female full-time assistant coach in the NBA. And, uh, and as, as somebody who's got two daughters, one of who is a baller, you know, it's, uh, it, it, it makes me feel good to, when excellence is recognized regardless of gender. Um, so that's what the Spurs do. Uh, they find ways to put together the best team whether it means going to Australia or Italy or the WNBA. Uh, they want everybody on the court. Uh, they think everybody has worth. Uh, they find folks who didn't have a chance someplace else, and suddenly they figure out a way to make them shine as part of a team. Uh, and in that sense, uh, they're a great metaphor for what uh, America should be all about. So I just want to say once again, uh, congratulations. Uh, they're working through some injuries uh, on their quest to another title. Uh, but I'll tell you what, if uh, guys need any tips on winning back-to-back, uh, -back, you know where to find me. <laughs> so, uh, that was the best thing. Mine, mine is in here, sir. You don't get notes, man. Well, you, <laughs> mainly because you just give one-word answers. Exactly. <laughs> what I want to remind the president about, if I might, with all due respect, when I sit stars, I get fined. He, he, he doesn't. He does. so. <laughs> but uh, mostly I would just like to say thank you to the president and for all the people here for having us. Uh, it truly is an honor to be here. And for me, the most satisfying part is to be able to be with all these guys. Uh, they truly have gotten over themselves. They care about the group more than the individual. And I didn't do that. Uh, that's in their character. That's who they are. So it's, it's a pleasure to have them here be honored by all of you, especially so many San Antonio fans 
uh, and people that know San Antonio. Uh, we know that we answer to you all, and we feel that all the time. The last thing I want to say is uh, all the pieces that the president talked about that get put together to keep the team at an excellent level, uh, the guy responsible for that is right here, R.C. Buford. He's the guy that does that. Now we have some things for the president, All I believe. Right, what, do we got? what do we got here? We got some stuff? Come on, guys. <laughs> All righty. There you go. That's, that's Chuck. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you. Do, 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 do I get to keep this, too? Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, uh, why don't we strike the podium down? Oh, one more. One more. Oh, we got a ball? That's a nice looking ball right there. <laughs> Thank you for signing it, Thank you. Let's slide in here, Coach. Uh, all right. Hold on a second. I got to get the jersey. All right. Hand out a dime to Tony Banks. All good? All right. Congratulations. <laughs>